Hey, what up guys? So, I ended up just kind of being on here and collecting a little bit of gear, uh, just kind of playing around, and I found out that I actually am able to repair my slingshot instead of having to unlock it and re entirely build it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to start uh, attacking a triceratops with some uh, with some rocks and see if I can get him to black out so we can tame him. I have some berries on me. I believe I have enough berries. Uh, on me. If not, we can swim right across the lake. Our house is right behind us and grab some more berries. But I do know of a couple of Triceratops that are over here. There are actually stuck on uh, in trees and things, and I want to do one of them. I want to attack one of them. Because if I can get him out... Oops, if I had a little bit of lag. If I can get him out of the tree once I've tamed him by punching away at the tree, you know, and knocking it down, then that's Perfect. That's exactly actually what I'm going for, is being able to tame one, then punch away at the tree, get him out of it that way so that then we don't really have to worry about it from there. Now, unfortunately, there are a lot of spitters on this side. Actually, there's one coming right towards me right now. Uh, I don't see a single Triceratops over, right over here. So let me go ahead and... Um, so I just realized you can't even see me in the webcam. Fail. Let me go ahead and run this way, and we're going to see if we can find a uh, Triceratops. Now, I am eating some of these yellow berries just to keep me from dying here, because as you can see, my health is very low, and I don't have any, uh, I don't have any, uh, what's it called? I don't have any raw steak or raw food for me to be able to, to cook with, for me to be able to cook, so. Got to eat the berries! What is that? Is that a spitter? That is a spitter. Okay, here we go. Here's those Triceratops I was talking about that are that are stuck. So let me go ahead and get rid of this spitter. And then we're going to go take down these Triceratops. Or take down one of them at least. Hopefully they don't all gang up on the spits in this game. He didn't miss. Oh, was he? Got him, got him, got him. Yes, okay. Now let me just wait real quick for that to be done. I don't want my health to be at half. Uh, while this goes down, so let me... Oh. God, nope. There's no more Dilos here, right? Because I am literally one shot. There was a Dilo right there behind that uh, Triceratops, and I'm not sure if these Triceratops are stuck. It looks like that one there is. That one there might be, and I don't know about you there. Looks like they're all actually stuck. I am severely injured. I am just going to consume as many of these as I can here really quickly. Probably a good number of them. I just consumed 62 berries. Hopefully that'll bring up my health by a lot. That could have ended really, really badly. Is my health coming back up? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. It's coming up actually pretty quick. It's going dark, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I can tell you, all three of these guys are stuck right now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over into daylight, guys, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so it is finally daylight, so we now have the ability to go back out and see what we're doing. So we're going to head back over there, guys. I do see the Triceratops right here, and we still have enough of what we need to be able to get this done. I want to actually get a Triceratops, but unfortunately the only downside about that is that if we end up successfully getting this Triceratops, we won't be able to ride it because we have no saddle for it. There is no uh, there is no way for us to be able to actually ride it or even get on it. We can have it follow us places, which is how we're going to get it back to the house. We're going to uh, swim across and just have it follow. 
and then we'll have to tell it to stop following us and it'll just stand outside our house until we get to a high enough level where we could actually ride it. But that is one of the dinosaurs I'm really wanting is a Triceratops. Another one that I'm really wanting to try to get is a Pterodon, um, which is the, the flying dinosaur, the Pterodactyl. And I feel like a Pterodactyl would probably be something quite a bit harder to actually get, which is why I'm waiting on it. There's a spitter right here. And because I'm going to come, there you go. That's actually the, hold on, I'll let it finish its playing. Okay, it's stuck there, so I'm not gonna bother it. Are you stuck? You are stuck, okay. Stuck, which is why I chose him. Because I would rather pick one that is stuck than one that. Wow, oh my god, I hit him with 20 stones. Is he gonna go down? Is he gonna go down? I have 10 shots left. Oh my god, finally. Yes, 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 yes. Food, narco berry, remote use, remote use, remote use. I'm gonna remote use one of these. Yes, guys! Okay, here we go. We now are getting ourselves. I'm actually gonna put these in because they say they like these better. I'm gonna take those out for um, backup. Use this here. I wanna keep his. Um, sleep meter actually fairly high so i'm not gonna just leave those in there for him to eat whenever he feels like it but i will leave these um blueberries in there what are they called mojo berries i'll leave the mojo berries in there for him all right guys here we go and taming taming meter might actually take a while oh he's mate boosted too uh -oh. this guy is mate boosted is he no longer Taming efficiency is at 83%. That's good. That's where we want to keep it. It's 83%. We're no longer being attacked by any of the other dinosaurs, which is uh, great, too. This guy's a level 10, which was partly part of uh, us having such a hard time with it. What is this at? It's at 300. Let's get this up some. We want to try to keep it full. There we go. And we have these berries in here. Where is his food? <sighs> his food is a little bit low, but we should be okay. There we go. I think I have that as up as I can. Now, I'm going to get rid of this spitter really quickly so that I can come over here and do what I need to do. Okay. There we go. Got rid of that spitter. We are all good. Let's continue to tame this guy here. Come on. We're, we're about to get ourselves a Triceratops, guys. Good. Mojo berry. We need mojo berries and narco berries. That's what we're here for. Mojo berries and narco berries. Mojo berries and narco. And then we gotta also help him get unstuck, too. That's a big one. Remote use. Uh, I got more of these. I got a little bit of narco, which I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of them in there. I'm gonna try to keep his um, tapeworm or topor meter above 300 this entire time. Okay, use another one. I'm trying to get it full, this is where I'm going. There you go, now it's full. I'm gonna leave those berries in there. This guy is probably gonna take us a long, long time to tame. Uh, Altsberry, I just have a spoiled Altsberry, which is fine. I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw um, all the berries that I have that are just typical food berries into him. And then I am going to hold on to the um, uh, Narcos. 
This is also going to level us up big time because we're taming a dinosaur and that gives you a lot, a lot of XP. Now I am so very glad that these other Triceratops here are uh, friendly and not interested in killing us because that would be bad. Triceratops, the reason I'm wanting to really tame a Triceratops as one of the first things I can tame is that if we get attacked by anything big, a Triceratops can really take them down without too much of a problem, which is absolutely great. They do a crap ton of damage, and this guy is also my first mount. So what'll happen is once I actually get a saddle for him and I can really start using him for things, uh, his level will go up very, very quickly. Which means we can just keep increasing how much damage he does and his health. Like, we could rotate um, back and forth, like, every other one we do health, one we do damage, one we do health, damage, you know, that type of thing, and just rotate it back and forth. And we'll get there eventually, and it'll, it'll, it'll probably take a while. Like, this guy's gonna take forever to tame. Three seventy. There we go. Okay, throw those in. Throw those in. Throw those in. I think those are all the edible, just food berries I have for him at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and make him eat a few of these. He's actually full at the moment. If you just kind of give him food uh, within his thing, his food bar won't actually go down. Um, very fast at all. It'll actually stay at full if you just kind of throw food into his into his inventory and let it sit there. Which is exactly what I am doing. It does slow down the process, because if you were actually to let his food uh, completely diminish, or not even entirely diminish, like drop down to like a hundred. Like this guy's food is like almost three thousand. It's, it's insane. So if I was to say let it drop down to a thousand and then all of a sudden feed him again, his, uh, his taming bar would shoot. Let's actually go ahead and try that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of the stuff that is within his inventory at the moment, and we'll just, or take out the food that's in his inventory at the moment, and we'll just put stuff in there as it starts to get low. We're not getting very many narco berries, which is a big downside. Can I not get up here? <clears throat> no, I can't. Okay. There's a lot of bamboo right there, which is great. This guy is actually in a perfect area for uh, trying to do this. Because there's food absolutely everywhere. See how he just eats by himself? I'm going to let this actually drop, his food drop down uh, quite a bit to a very, um, uh, to a lot lower than what it actually is currently. And I'm going to keep his toe port very, very high. I'm going to keep his toe port at least 330 if not higher. Now I only have a limited number of narco berries, so I have got to keep an eye on him. Let's see if I can get this up to 370, which is now there, just below it, so that's fine. Uh, make sure there's no spitters kind of around the perimeter, and then we are going to just collect more plants because we are dying uh, for the need of narco berries. It seems, it seems kind of weird to think that narco berries are actually one of the hardest berries to get, but you need so damn many of them. Best part is, though, once we actually tame this guy, and we go out and we use him for uh, collecting berries and things, once we actually have the saddle, uh -oh, a little bit lagged, once we actually have the saddle for him, he will bring in so much gear, it will be unbelievable. These guys are one of the best for when it comes to collecting berries. Which means that if I just keep this guy and I don't really do anything with it, the next time I go to uh, tame a dinosaur should be nothing at all. Oh, come on. Why can't I collect it? I'm going to get rid of this wood here and try to collect these bushes. There we go. Mojo berry. I'm not seeing narco. Why not? We need narcos. Put oh, I forgot about that. He does have to have food within his um, 
within his mouth for the or within within his inventory for the uh, tanning to continue. So did we lose all the tanning? We actually just no, we didn't. So it's still going up, just going up slowly. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there. His food did drop actually by quite a bit, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and well I can't because then it'll stop tanning him. So let's just go ahead and throw all the food we have for him back in there now that we we do realize that. Mm, what are these stimberries? I'll go ahead and throw stimberries in there. Now stimberries wake him up, so. Keep those out. Okay, I need to I need to put him to sleep a little bit more. Let's give him one more to get him up there a little bit higher. Okay, one more. We only have seven guys. I can't wait to have this guy tamed. It's gonna take so much berries, though. It's going to take so many narco berries. This guy is actually a lot more needy than the first dinosaur I tamed. I did actually tame a dinosaur once before on this world, but unfortunately, because I wasn't far enough into the game, he didn't survive because I wasn't able to feed him. I wasn't able to give him water. Wasn't able to do that type of stuff, so he did die. But he didn't take as nearly as many narco berries as this guy is. 20 berries actually pretty much did it with that dinosaur um, that I did, and that was one of the little duck build dinosaurs. I'm hoping that maybe by getting as much of this up and out from underneath him as I can, that it will help to uh, get him unstuck. Because I can't really punch at that tree. He'll attack me if I do. Um, so I'm just going to kind of leave it alone and pray and hope that I have enough to keep him there. Okay, remote use. I'm going to completely fill up his tapeworm meter here and uh, just go out collecting berries like crazy. of these left, dude. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I'm probably not gonna have enough to completely do this, guys. So I'm gonna have to really be out collecting a lot of berries. There you go. That is full. And I have three berries left, so let's throw that in there. Throw that in there. Uh, these berries here are for my consumption. Uh, can I do this? Remote use. So I guess he can't eat meat. I just gave him some meat, and I don't know what it did. I don't know if it... Whoa, it shot up. That shot up his, um... His taming. Oh, that's awesome. So a little note to self right there, guys. If you feed a dinosaur meat, he will tame faster. I'm not gonna actually try to tame two dinosaurs at once, even though I do see one of the dinosaurs that we were looking for earlier on uh, in episode 5, right up here. I just saw him. He's right there. That's him. That's what we were looking for. I'm not going to try to tame him, though. I'm going to let him be. Because I am already running one, um, one dinosaur right now, and I am running low on materials. But here he is. This is what we were looking for. Like I said, it's just like a giant pig. I wish, one thing I do really wish that I could get was narco berry seed. Because I would love to plant some narco berries so that I just have an unlimited supply of them for in the future here, and we're trying to tame more dinosaurs, so it'd be just a little easier, you know. But I actually don't know if they even have something as of the such, like narco berry seeds. I don't think that even exists, to be honest with you. Uh, go, go, 
This guy actually is probably pretty much a tank when it comes to how much he can carry in his inventory, because he has quite a bit in there and looks to be okay. And his topor is fine, too. Which makes me wonder, why is his unconscious meter going uh, down, but his taming meter isn't going up fast enough when I'm keeping his tapor very, very high? If I could actually kill another dinosaur and get meat from it, I could probably tame him faster because I don't know what it was, but that meat really seemed to have shot his uh, stuff up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and consume some of the berries for myself that I have right here. There we go. Do 24 of those. That is going to do a lot of health bonus. I'm going to go four... And I am going to come right over here and see if I can get myself a spitter, kill it, and get some meat from it to be able to feed to my uh, Triceratops. This is awesome, though, guys. We actually have ourselves a, a Triceratops. Very slowly, but we are getting there to be able to have one as a pet. I see a spitter right here, but is there two of them is the question. Doesn't look like it. There we go, four raw meat. Let's go feed this to the, uh, to the Triceratops. Now, from what I understand, because of what I had done originally with the raw meat, he should have his taming meter skyrocket right after doing this here, feeding him the raw meat. Hope. I hope. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. He's still unconscious. How is this? What's his unconscious meter at? Ooh, wow, okay. What's his torpor? Topor. Ooh, his topor is very, very low. Shoot that topor right back up. The higher you keep the torpor, the slower he will be uh, when it comes to waking up. If we would have kept up on his thing a little bit more there, uh, we probably wouldn't have ran into that issue. So now, that's where we're at now. It does seem like, oh wow, his, his uh, unconscious meter actually went back up as I gave him those narco berries, which is great. I'm going to leave that one narco berry in there uh, for him to consume, and I am going to run off and collect us some more narcos. I wish narco berries weren't so rare. Narco berries, yes. Narco berries. There we go, we got two out of that. So we have four now. I am hoping that with this we'll all of a sudden just get like 60. That would be great, because you can stack them up to stacks of 100, which would be insane. If we actually had the Triceratops um, saddle, we could stack it up to like 100 if we had our Triceratops already. And we would be set for getting another dinosaur. To have a, a hundred stack of that, ooh, we would be set.
two more narcos. Good, good, good. Come on, just keep supplying us with narco berries. That's all we're here for. It kind of seems like the game knows what you're trying to do. And so it slows down the, um, the actual, like, collection of narco berries and makes them a little harder to collect. How is he looking? Oh my god, dude, his topor drops so quickly. Got to be careful about big dinosaurs like that, because if a bigger dinosaur comes along that would be able to naturally eat my Triceratops here, they will actually attack it and try to kill it, which is never a good thing. Okay, I'm going to give him a few more. Try to get his Topor back up quite a bit, and then I'm going to run off and keep hunting. Okay, that was all of the Narco Berries I have. We better have enough narco berry. I know I said that we could run across the river, but I actually brought all of the narco berries with me that I have. That was the one thing I did do. Other than that, I have a lot of um, the the alts berry and the amber berry and things like that back home, but I have no narcos. gotta just keep coming back to this guy temporarily and giving him stuff. There you go. I'm gonna at least try to keep it at 370. Because 380 is his highest toe for, so 370 should be uh, good enough, I hope. have in my hand. Let me go ahead and pull my spears into my hand just in case while I'm running around my head down a spitter or a raptor shows up. Okay. Come on. I'm gonna have a lot of fiber after this, which is a great thing. You do get a lot of fiber when taming dinosaurs because you're just constantly uh, collecting plants for berries. The one thing I really want them to do is increase the drop rate of Narcos. Now this guy might actually take me a while to tame him. I thought this was going to be a quick little process, you know, come over here, knock him out, give him a few Narcos. He tames up real pretty quick, you know, like what had happened with um, my last dinosaur. Nope. Not in the slightest. No, a little bit of lag, a little bit of lag. We are getting his tanning meter up quite a bit, though, which is absolutely great. I just want it to be full so that I can lead him back to the house and then tell him to stay there. Uh... 
with how long this is actually taking to tame him, which is something I didn't expect, this might actually turn into episode 6. Right here. I was just going to add this little piece onto episode 6 and do it as just like a a uh, bonus thing to the side, but I might turn this into episode 6, being how long this is actually taking. Oh, I leveled up. I'm going to increase my weight so what I can carry. And I am also going to buy... I don't have any more saddles I can buy. I think that's Triceratops right there, though. I'm going to go ahead and buy this here, the land plot. And then I'm also going to buy some stuff for building a wood house, like a wood door frame. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for it. So what else can we do? Uh, actually, you know, let's go ahead and just save those points. We're not going to use anything for them. <laughs> but being that I waited a moment... I have got to give him more narco berries. Two narcos, yes! Come on, keep giving me two narcos per bush. Come on, two narcos per bush. I'm not getting very many narco. No! Give me the narco berry! Narco berries actually spoil very, very quickly, which is partly why I wasn't able to collect a lot of them uh, before actually taming this guy. It's one of those things that you actually have to have your dinosaur in sight and captured somewhere. Um, like you build a wall around him or something to get him stuck before you tame him so that you can be like, okay, he's there, he's not going anywhere, now I just gotta go out and spend a good, you know, 15, 20 minutes just collecting buttloads of narcos. But the downside is, you may take 15, 20 minutes to do it, but one narco berry spoils every 8 minutes. Throw that in there. I am giving him literally all the berries I have except for Narcos and leaving him in there. Come on. There you go. It's up at 70. What's his taming meter at? Ooh, it's almost halfway. Awesome. Almost halfway there, guys. Come on. There it goes. No, but we're getting a lot of mojo berry, which is great. I know that Triceratops, because I did a little bit of Googling just before I actually um, came on here and tried to tame one of these. I did do a little bit of Googling to see what their preferred food was, what would make them, you know, level up quicker. And it actually is um, uh, those blueberries that I keep getting. And I don't know the name of them. What are they called? They're right here. The purple berries. The mojo berry. It is mojo berries that levels these guys up uh, faster or tames them faster, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, what's this thing at right now? I'm going to go ahead and give him a couple of these. Not use. Give him probably two more. Yeah, there you go. I have one more narco on me. Now that's going to bring him up to like 74. Awesome. So what's his taming at right now? Okay, he's not going to wake up anytime soon, which is great. But the downside is, is that we're probably going to end up doing this at night, which is one thing I definitely don't like doing. Um, just because mo or not mobs, what are they called? Dinosaurs like to come out and hang out around more at night. And this area, this side of the beach, I have seen um, uh, Tyrannosaur T-Rexes and Spinosauruses and Raptors and things running around over here before, which concerns me. I don't want to be here at night. You safe to move up this way? Yeah. Oops, very... I'm probably going to start going around uh, to the side of the rock next to me instead of really getting farther up into the forest here because it is unsafe in the forest. So we come back down here, give this guy a couple of narco, and move on uh, to the other side. Do I have any? I have two narcos which I'm probably going to end up using both of them here now that I see what his topor is at as the moment. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use both narcos here. Throw the rest of the berries in there. Feed him a couple of times. Taming is going up fairly consistently. Not very fast, but definitely consistent. And I'm gonna come right over here and we're gonna just start collecting stuff. Now, I don't believe there are spitters within this general facility, but if there are, I can take one at a time. If there's more than one, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Two narco, good. There's a narco. I didn't get any narco. I'm getting a lot of stone. There you go, there's two. I think what they actually more expect players to do is what I'm doing, where they come along and they don't actually collect berries until the minute they're doing their dinosaurs, that they're running around like this, frantically grabbing berries, and that's why they make the the berries so kind of spread out. Or not spread out, I'm sorry, make the berries um, uh, spoil so quickly. That's the word, spoil. I don't know why it was taking me some time to think of that, but it was. I don't like how it's all foggy. It makes it very hard to see if there's a, a dangerous dinosaur nearby. I'm dehydrated. Okay, well, I'm going to have to deal with that in a moment. Uh, what's this topor? Ooh, it's 320. I just fed him a few of those. No, I have to run and go get into the water here really quickly. I'm gonna die. Drink, 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 drink. Okay, we're good. We are good. Back to my dinosaur. This is amazing, guys. I am so happy right now. We're getting ourselves a dinosaur. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly consume some food myself. And then we're gonna go back over here and start collecting more stuff. Now it is going dark. And I do have a torch on me. To be able to run around and uh, collect berries at night and still be able to be visible by you guys. Now I remember earlier on in the in the series I said that we won't be doing any nighttime videos unless it's a special occasion. Well, this is one of those special occasions, guys. We are going to continue on into the night.
There you go. Now his unconscious meter is completely full again. Which is perfect. That's what I was actually trying to do right there. Was to completely fill his unconscious meter so that we could just continue on um, going about and he won't wake up anytime sooner. We actually reversed him waking up anytime soon by getting his uh, unconscious meter completely full again. Okay, that's the sound telling you that it is nighttime now, guys. So we have to be very, very careful. I should have enough stuff to rebuild that, no? What am I missing? Probably missing, um, flint and thatch, yeah, whatever. We'll just punch the tree out of the way for now, we have enough health. There we go. Okay. What? I just broke that tree, whatever. Whatever, just go about it. I don't know how well you guys can actually see right now. I can see just fine, so I'm hoping that you guys can too. Alright, now it's a little bit darker. Bamboo gives you narco. Why can't I collect it? Give me the bamboo. Actually, last time I tamed a dinosaur, I think I was taming him in about the same area, to be honest. <laughs> This topoi should still be about full, but I'm going to go ahead and run back over there and uh, take a look and make sure that it hasn't dropped too much. Now, my big fear is that if something starts attacking him... I'm cold. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get cold. I'm totally fine with being a little chilly. Narco berries. Oh, his topoi is at 320. I'm glad I actually came back over here with the amount of berries I did. Because uh, his topoi is at 320, which is very low for a Triceratops. Oh, the best part is, is that if we are riding this guy, um, little spitters and things won't care about us, because the bigger the mount, the spitters don't really care about you, even if you're on it. Oops, not what I meant to do. I'm gonna have to make a new torch here very soon, guys, because this one is actually about to go. Oop, oh, lag. There we go, narco. I was getting nervous there for a second. I wasn't seeing any berries at all showing up. It actually just looked like we have a little bit of raw meat on us somewhere. I don't know where. It said that I had spoiled... Oops, I said... It did just say that I had spoiled raw meat on me, but I don't even see any um, spoiled meat in my inventory, for that matter. It might have been from when I was feeding the dinosaur that that meat has finally spoiled. That could easily be what it is. It's the meat I fed my dinosaur. Okay, I've been gone long enough to where his topor had to have dropped quite a bit. Let me go check on him.
Yeah, it did. It dropped a lot. I only have five of these, though. I don't think that's going to be enough to get it back up entirely. Throw all that in there. Any berries I have way up there? No. Okay, that's 30. Let's probably get it up into the 40s. 50s. And this will hopefully make it into the 60s. Yeah, just made it into the 60s. Taming is now officially halfway, guys. So this means we're probably going to have to go exploring a little bit more, which means getting farther and farther away from my dinosaur to actually be able to get some stuff. I'm really looking forward to it turning daylight, though, so I no longer have to carry around this torch. I'm getting no narco berries at all at the moment. Come on, narcos. Why can't I collect this? There we go. I'm not getting any narco berries. Where are all the narco berries? There you go. There's one narco. But that one narco isn't going to be enough to keep my dinosaur asleep for the remaining of the for the remainder of this uh, time that I am taming him. I'm getting a lot of fiber though, which is great, but it is not what I am after. Come on, just let me collect the damn thing. I hate this. There we go. I do hate it. When you have a torch in your hand, for some reason, it seems to kind of get a little glitchy and uh, doesn't really like to let you collect what you're going for or what you're aiming at. There's two narcos. I think, I think all I have is two narco berries at the moment. I wish I actually had... Um, the special, like, poison that puts dinosaurs to sleep. Because I know you can make, um... Make, uh, like, narco... Whatever they're called. It's narco somethings. I gotta go check on him. I don't think I have very much... I know I don't have very many narcos on me, but it should be enough to put him back to sleep almost entirely. Actually, he's almost at 200 um, topor. I'm gonna feed him all of those to really try to get him back to sleep. Okay, guys, we're going to have to start doing a little bit of traveling now to go get some berries, which is not what I wanted to do. Okay, so here's where the traveling is going to have to be. I'm going to have to start coming back and forth between my side of the river and his side of the river. And my torch just broke. So once we get across, I'll make myself a new torch. Uh, I'll collect some berries, and then we will be booking it back across to go feed him a butt ton of berries. The farther you actually get away from him, the, the worse it is. You want to stay as close to your dinosaur as possible. But unfortunately, this guy has more than I expected um, in stuff to actually need to get done. Uh, what did I just break? I just broke my thing, which is right here. I'm also starving, which is on seven. I'm going to run into my house and make sure I have no more of those specific narco berries, and I do not. I'm going to throw this in here, and I'm also going to get rid of all this right here really quickly. I feel like I'm missing flint for that. Okay. Yeah, I was. Come on, 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 come on.
Why are narco berries so rare all of a sudden? I don't want to lose this Triceratops after everything that we have gone through to try to get a hold of him. Across the stream we go, guys, to go give our Triceratops some more Narco Berries. I don't like leaving this far away from him, and I know I am a long ways away, and there are piranha in this lake every once in a while, which is why I am trying to get across there as fast as I can. Now, I, it's even pitch black for me, so I can't tell where the shore is or not, but what we'll hear is we'll actually hear my character kind of jump. And uh, it'll go from the swimming sound to a sprinting sound, which is what I'm listening for. <laughs> there you go, there you go. He just jumps, so that tells me I'm close to shore. There we go, we're on shore, I think. Yes, we are on shore, so this. Where is he? He's right here. What's going on? Oh my god, dude. His stuff has dropped so much. There you go, there's five. Take this. Eat those. Hold, hold, hold. I am not running as far away from you again. His unconscious meter is slowly going back up. And these bushes here have respawned. Yes. We are so lucky. So what we ended up doing by running away was we deloaded the chunk. And when you reload and deload a chunk, it will uh, respawn everything within it. At least in this game. I don't actually know how close it is to daylight, but I would assume that it is getting very close by now. So we're probably pretty soon to not be able to have to carry around this torch anymore. His unconscious meter dude is dropping way too quickly. It's dropping so fast now to the point where I hardly even have a chance to go out and get more berries is how quick it's actually going down. I hate that this is all random drops. I wish it would give you every single time a narco berry. I really do. I wish it would give you at least two narco berries a bush that you collect. There, two narco berries. Ooh, wow. Great timing. I'm getting him very, very slowly back up into the uh, 300s here. By doing what I'm doing, I'm, the minute I get a narco berry, I'm running right back over to him and throwing it in, it, throw, uh, throwing it into his inventory and feeding him it before it really has enough time to uh, drop. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Go, we're back up at 300. Toe four guys. We have fixed the mistake we had originally of being gone for too long. Pretty much, if I can actually get more narcos right now. I need narco. If I don't get narco here soon, we're not gonna have fixed anything.
Yes, it's daylight, guys. It is now a lot safer for us. I'm going to get rid of the torch. I'm going to pull back out the spears and put the spears in the background, though. He is almost tamed. He is almost our pet. We have just got to wrap this up. And this is actually going to go ahead and be episode 6. So I hope you guys are enjoying If you guys are, if you guys, if you guys do, please already do like, comment, and subscribe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need more narco berries, man. I need a lot more narco berries. I'm probably going to have to deload and then reload this chunk. Like I did just a second ago. Narco berry, got one. His taming meter can only go up if he has a high enough unconscious meter. I believe. I believe that's how it works. Which is why I am so nervous about narco berries. And on top of that, narco berries is the only way for me to be able to keep him asleep at this point. Once we actually get a little further ahead, you know, and we have better gear and things, we might actually be able to store more berries, you know, and really, uh, really upgrade it so that berries don't, uh, what's it called, don't spoil as quickly. But as at this point, we don't have any way of doing so that I know of um, to be able to keep berries from spoiling as quickly. Have I gotten any berries from this at all? No. I understand I'm starving, but I'm not going to take the time to eat right now. Move. Three narcos. There you go. That's what I was looking for. And as I run back, I'm going to stuff my face with um, berries. I'm going to eat 28 of them. What's this thing at right now? Very, very low. Oops, lag. Come on. I'm wanting him to tame quicker so that I don't have to keep doing these... Uh, Bucking it around everywhere to try to get him food. There you go, I ate 40 of them, so that should be enough to keep me over for a while. Narcos. I just got two more narco. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna keep doing what I was doing just a second ago with the narcos, where I get them and I immediately book it back to him. Seems like if I just keep stuffing his face full of narco berries, he will, uh, his topor will stay growing instead of dropping as quickly. There's some more narco. I'm gonna break this last bush right here and then we're gonna immediately. Okay, I didn't get any narco from that bush, but I'm gonna come right back over and we're gonna hit this guy up again with some more narcos. My health is, my food is still going up from those um, 20 some odd uh, berries I just ate. I think it might also be the amount of berries I'm feeding him that's making him knock out faster, that, or making him wake up faster. That could be it too. So I should probably stop feeding him as many berries and just let him do his own thing.
Because I kind of feel like part of his waking up issue that we're running into right now is me feeding him the berries. So I should probably just stop feeding him and sit back and let him bite at them one at a time as he needs them. Come on. We need ourselves a Triceratops. Once we get this done, though, guys, we will not have ourselves a Triceratops. All we need to do, actually, is make sure that we have enough um, just typical berries on us. Not narco berries. We'll put them back to sleep. But just normal berries on us to be able to feed him as a, on a regular basis. Okay, I actually just saw that that went back up into the uh, 300s right there when I was feeding him that. I wonder, you know what I do wonder? Do the narco berries that I am feeding this guy right now, uh, once he tames, do I actually get all those back within his stomach? Do they like stay in his stomach so that I end up being able to to just collect them and use them on another dinosaur whenever? Is that a thing or are they gone for good once I actually tame this guy? his um, sleeping meter growing quite a bit again, which is great. I'm actually keeping him in the 200s when it comes to Topor, so I'm wondering if that is a big uh, reason to, uh, to him sleeping more for his sleep meter going up. It's because I'm keeping it now at a steadier level instead of it just kind of doing its own thing, Where, which is what I was doing just a moment ago. I wasn't keeping... I wasn't keeping track of it at all just a second ago. That's why I got so low, because I was too far away. Wow, his taming meter is going up so quickly that it's actually catching up with his um, sleeping meter. Wow, okay, I need a lot of narcos, because it turns out that every narco I give him does increase that sleeping meter. Which is perfect. Come on. Well, we are never going to run out of fiber. That's a good thing. I have a few hundred stacks of fiber now in my inventory. I'm not getting any narco berries right now. This is what actually caused me to lose his um, his uh, sleeping thing by a lot. This is what's a, the lack of finding narco berries is what made it drop so quickly. Come on, open his inventory. Open the inventory. What are you doing? I think he moved, and that, yeah, he's moving, and that's what's causing it. Ooh, his, I'm almost, we almost have ourselves a Triceratops. So this is taming a dinosaur. <laughs> Here we go. I have four narco berries now. Let's go throw those in his stomach. I'm also going to try to get him unstuck while I'm here. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
There you go. Got him unstuck. His unconscious meter is full again. Yes! Perfect, perfect, perfect. I now have my Triceratops unstuck. I've collected a little bit of stuff from around him so that he is no longer... Uh, well, I just said that. He's no longer uh, he's no longer stuck, so that's perfect. I'm actually over encumbered, so let me go get rid of um, some of the stuff over here next to him. It's actually just a lot of uh, fibers that I have, see? Uh, all this fiber is weighting me down by a lot. It's also making my character more exhausted while running, which sucks. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, lacking when it comes to water. Let me dump, jump in the water real quick. Drink fast. He swims so slow, I hit that. Where is he? Right there, Triceratops. Here's two more Narcos. Load him full of that. Wow, we actually have him back up at 380. Uh, 360 Topor, which is perfect. Once he completely does his whole taming thing, though, he'll come to once that's finished. We don't actually have to wait uh, for the, the whole Narco thing to end, which I don't know if they're going to change that. I really would like them not to, uh, but they might, which is a huge downside. Okay, I am really moving slow. I'm actually going to get to the point here very soon where I can't even sprint. So it's time to actually go ahead and start throwing away some stuff. There you go, I just dropped all that fiber, so that was what was really weighting me down right there. Two more natural berries, I have to run across to go throw those in his stomach. Make him eat them. Give us, give him sleep. Make him tame. You be my pet yet? He is so close, guys. He is so close. Boom, boom. That's gonna hopefully bring him up quite a bit. I am just kind of standing by, letting him do his own thing. In anticipation. Now, I do have the ability to actually grow Mojo Berry. Um, Mojo Berry plants. So, what I could do to feed him, because Mojo Berry is his favorite um, berry. It's what tames him quicker. If you have just a bunch of Mojo Berries in his stomach, he'll tame a lot quicker. Um, which I do. I believe I have quite a few. Um... So what I could do is just grow some mojo berries, and then there you go. I will have myself a nice, happy triceratops. Throw those in there, throw those in there, throw those in there. Um, force feed him all of that, and now let's run off again to go get more. He's very close to being done, guys. I actually really want to get it to the point where um, we can just kind of stand there and watch it kind of happen. Because I don't really want to be running back and forth all, the, all this much anymore, because it's costing me a lot of food to be able to continue this, uh, trying to feed him with all the berries I can and feed myself. It's also costing me a lot of water and stamina and things, so. We just got to get this done so that we can have ourselves our pet dino. I thought that was a bear for a second, that pig-like creature. Actually, how close is his tame? 
Oh, his, his taming is so, so, so close. Almost done, guys. We almost have ourselves a Triceratops. It's been a while. It's probably been about an hour, actually. It has. It has. <laughs> I just looked down at the time on my phone. Or not my phone, on my PC. I don't know why I just said my phone. Narcos, please. Narcos, so that I can run back over there and give him more. There you go. There's one. There's two. Yes. Okay, we're gonna run back over and give him these two narcos that we just got. It takes so much narco to actually get this guy. I wonder how many he actually has in his inventory at this point. I wonder how many we did give him, or if he, or if we even get those back. We can even tell here in the near future how many we actually have. Okay, don't drop below 300, Tokor. I'm trying to keep it above 300. It seems, it seems kind of like as the time has gone on, we've we've started to lack the ability to keep it up above 370. So really what I'm trying to do right now is keep it above 300. Because it seems like that is doing enough to keep his um, sleeping bar from dropping too quickly. Wow, okay, that gave me none at all. You know, I'm also collecting a lot of stones. I think that's part of what is making me so heavy. I might actually go back and re-pick up all that fiber and just get rid of all the stones that I do have on me right now. I'll go ahead and throw out the stone. Uh, stone. Wow, yeah, that's definitely doing it. Drop item. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was a lot of it. Holy crap. Now, unfortunately, all that um, stuff that we did have has despawned. I just noticed that it wasn't sat there anymore. So we have lost all of our um, string that we've been collecting from this all the fiber that I threw out those like six or seven boxes of just a hundred stacks of fiber. We lost it all. It's all despawned, but that's okay. We are collecting a lot of fiber just by doing what we're doing right now. We're also, every once in a while, accidentally getting a rock, which is not what we're here for. I just saw I got two more narcos. Let's go. I guarantee you that it, uh, a little bit like I guarantee you that there is an easier way to tame dinosaurs than booking it back and forth collecting narco berries. But uh, this is the only way that I know of at the moment to actually tame your dino. Come on, go up faster. I want his tamer taming meter to go up so much quicker than what it actually is. Just imagine being able to ride a Triceratops. Wouldn't that be so sick? I do want to eventually get myself a um, Spinosaurus and a T-Rex also. I want to also have a Raptor that I can ride because that would be cool too. His taming meter is unfortunately... Ex wow. Triceratops do really make some really loud noises when they walk, too. Oh my god, that is annoying. I've actually completely turned down the screen shake when big dinosaurs walk by, so that won't actually be an issue anymore. Okay, I'm going to start collecting this bamboo up here, along with all these plants. There's an arco berry. Yeah. It seems like when we're on more of a hill like this, we seem to get more narcos. Narco berry seed! Yes, that's what we were looking for right there, guys. Definitely narco berry seed seems to be insanely rare. Narco berries in general. I'm gonna actually plant a lot of narco berries now that I do have the 
the ability to start growing plants. I'm going to plant narco berries and use them to my advantage. Use all that. I am just overloading him. Wait, is this narco berry? It is narco berry seed. Great. Awesome. How close is his, is his uh, taming meter? Yes! The taming meter is the one on the bottom, guys. The purple one above on the top is his um, sleeping meter. If that meter gets close to running out, then he can wake up any second, which we don't want it to do at all. Uh, we got a little mojo berry right there. Fiber, we're getting a lot of fiber. Come on, I want more narco. I think they've made it a little rarer. I, I keep, I always change my mind with what I'm saying. I, I said it earlier in the episode, I think it's easier to get narco berries from bamboo. And then I just said, well, it might be a little bit rarer to get narco berries from bamboo. I don't know. I keep changing my mind because it seems like at one moment I am getting a crap ton of narco berries from something. Then the next moment I'm not getting enough. There you go, two narcos, yes. Remote use on all of this. Throw all these berries into his inventory. Do these? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using crop plots. I actually think his meter is almost at the point now where we don't really need to be out grabbing a bunch of narcos, but I'm still going to until he is um you know, just seconds from being ours. Okay, I'm starving. So let me spam seven really quickly. Giving narco berry. Yes, narco right there. Two narco. Few more narcos guys. Is there actually bushes over here that I can collect? There are. I've been running the long way to go get bushes, and there's bushes right here behind my my uh, dinosaur. Narcos, 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 narcos. At this point, all I'm looking for now is narcos. He has more than enough um, tick tick typical berries to be able to eat. Typical is what I was saying originally. It's saying I'm really hot, which is just because I'm constantly running around. He is seriously about to be tamed. We are about to have ourselves... A uh, nice and healthy Triceratops. <sighs> mm. 
Then, once we actually have him tamed, because we don't have a saddle, we just have to level up enough to where we can actually buy ourselves a trike saddle. Uh, it's it's kind of weird. They have a little funny names for all the dinosaurs. And just, instead of calling a triceratops a triceratops, they call him a trike. I think the game is telling me now that I no longer need to be coming and getting these uh, berries because I'm not getting any narco berries at all. And we do want to see him. Um, we do want to see him uh, tame. You know, do finish the whole meter so I can show you guys what that looks like. I actually think the meter is seriously just seconds from being done, is it? Yeah, it is. It's just seconds from being done. So I'm going to put... Two more narcos in there. We're going to fill him up the rest of the way with the rest of the berries that we do have. And now we're just going to get to stand by and watch because his meter is pretty much done. As I scarf down some berries. Alright guys, so that bottom meter right there, the little brown one, is his tanning meter. And it is a centimeter away from being finished. So we have ourselves a triceratops. We got ourselves a triceratops. <laughs> yeah. One more little boost up and it is all good. Oh wow, his health is actually pretty low too. He's mate boosted at the moment. I guess if it takes too long to actually get these guys um, tamed, they can die in the process, is what I'm kind of guessing is going on here at the moment. Alright guys, he is done any second now. He will all of a sudden stand up and be ours. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How's my food looking? Wow, my food's fine. Come on. Come on. I don't know what I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him something. What? It beats me. But something will be named. Um, let's name him Spike. Let's name him Spike. Let's call him Spike because he has those huge horns coming out of his head. There you go, guys. Got him. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Hello? Buddy? Triceratops. Spike. No. That was loud. New yes! Yes! There we go, guys. Okay. Okay. SPI. Spike. Accept. Yes! Oh my god, guys. Disorder following, or disable following? No, you want him to follow us, so check this out. <sighs> yes, guys. Oh my god, this is epic. Let me access his inventory really quickly, and do I get any of those berries back? No, I don't. But what, I, what I am going to do is I'm going to have him carry some stuff for me, because this guy is an absolute tank. How much weight can he actually carry? Uh, I don't see his weight. He can carry 330 pounds. Holy crap, this guy is a tank. Yes, guys. All right, so we're going to head back home. We're going to bring our friend here with us. Uh, we're going to bring Spike home, too. Whoa, okay. Screen still shakes. Just... Wait, if I sprint... Alrighty, Spike, let's go. I pray that you can swim, buddy. 
He can. He can. Yes. I wish I could ride him, though. Wow, he is a lot faster than I am. Holy crap. Look at him. He's catching up. <laughs> he got ourselves a Triceratops. Alrighty, guys. We have been going. We have been going for quite a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring me and Spike back towards the house. And this is where we're gonna end the episode uh, for today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We got ourselves a pet dinosaur in this episode, so we definitely got a lot done. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.